Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, conversion from to principal conjunct to normal form. In our last class, we clearly discussed about conversion to principal disjunct to normal form. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so conversion, before we move on to the conversion example, let's refresh what mean PCNF means. Product of max terms. That we for, if your equation is in the form of product of max terms, then we call it as principal conjunct to normal form. Max terms means, max terms looks like this. If you are having three variables, negation P, disjunction Q, disjunction R, this is one max term. P disjunction negation Q disjunction R. This is another max terms. Like that max terms contains all the variables. So for three variables, how many max terms will be there? Eight max terms will be there. These discussions made in our previous classes. Now coming to the example. Let's take this example negation of P disjunction Q. We have to convert this proposition into the equivalent proposition which contains only max terms, product of max terms. So now negation of P disjunction Q can be converted as negation P conjunction negation Q. Apply De Morgan's law. Hoping you already know these basics from our previous classes. Negation P disjunction conjunction negation Q. See, product of two terms product of max terms. So now negation P should be converted into max term. Negation Q can, should be converted into max term. Here how many variables are there? Two variables are there. How to convert this into max term? That is the point you need to understand. If you understand that point, it's very, very easy to convert. So P disjunction false is always P from the equivalence formulas. P disjunction false is always P. So, this is the point we are going to apply here. Negation P disjunction false. Always negation P. Instead of negation P, we are adding negation P disjunction false. There is nothing wrong. The same equation we are going to get. Negation Q disjunction false. So, now this is in the form of product of. If you convert this into max terms, you will get an equation of product of max terms. How to convert this into max terms? That is the point, the second point you need to understand. False can be written as negation P disjunction. False can be written as Q conjunction negation Q. Why we applied Q? Because the missing term. Here P is there, which is missing. Q is missing. Here Q is there, which is missing. P is missing. So instead of false, we are placing Q disjunction, Q conjunction, negation Q. Q conjunction, negation Q is always false. Similarly, instead of this false, Q negation Q disjunction, P conjunction, negation P. P conjunction, negation P is always false. So now apply distributive law X, Y, Z. You can apply distributive law. Negation P conjunction Q disjunction Q conjunction negation P disjunction negation Q. See, product of this is in max terms. This is a max term for two variables. Similarly, apply distributive law. You are going to get these two max terms. This is in the form of product of max terms. But one more point you need to add it. Uh, duplicates are there. Negation P conjunction negation Q. Disjunction negation Q. Negation P disjunction negation Q. You can eliminate one and you can write only one time. So finally, you are going to get these three max terms, product of max terms. This is how we need to convert. We are going to do one more uh, uh, example for better understanding. Uh, negation P implies R. Conjunction Q double implies P. So P implies Q can be written as negation P disjunction Q. Similarly, negation P implies R can be written as P disjunction R. Conjunction P, Q double implies P can be written as Q implies P conjunction P implies Q. 
this implies can be converted into the form of uh, negation q disjunction p p di negation p disjunction q p disjunction r so now it is in the form of product of product of max terms but this is not in the form of max term you have to bring that into the form of max terms you have to bring this into the form of max terms bring this into the form of max terms the, the above example the same way we applied using false and convert the same what's the missing variable here q what's the missing variable here r what's the missing variable here r is the missing variable so add that how we are going to add that p disjunction r disjunction false this this same equation adding false will not change the equation similarly here also add false here also add false instead of false place it as because the missing term we are going to bring the missing term false can be replaced as q conjunction negation q here false can be replaced as r conjunction negation r here false can be re, uh, replaced as r conjunction negation r apply distributive law so from here onwards you keep on continuing and uh, eliminate the duplicates you are going to get the product of max terms this is how we need to convert uh, the given proposition into the form of principal conjunct to normal form pcnf hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you